Hello, I'm Robert Klosterman. I'm an Emeritus Professor of Economic Geography and Planning at the University of Amsterdam. I still do research, most of it is on culture and creative industries. And uh, I always had a vivid interest in, in music. And I'm very much uh, uh, interested in the, in the way Bruce Springsteen has depicted uh, urban situations in his, in his work. So that coincides with uh, my more professional interest. And today I'm going to answer some, some of Google's most uh, asked questions on uh, Bruce Springsteen's work. Who is Bruce Springsteen? An interesting question. He's an American uh, musician, born in 1949 in uh, Freehold, New Jersey, which in his case is an important fact which is so not in a, in a large city like New York, but uh, in a city in, in New Jersey. And uh, about his career spans now, I think, almost half a century and uh, covers a, a lot of albums, a lot of songs. And much of his songs also have a very strong urban, uh, an urban angle in which he depicts how the protagonist uh, function, how the protagonist live, work, seek love within, within uh, urban settings. His greatest hits. Well, here I have to, to say that I'm, I'm not so much interested in his greatest hits. I'm more interested in his more reflexive work. And uh, Bruce Springsteen has a, has, a, has a large body of work. And there is the, you know, the, the more the stadium rock type of songs, like, uh, like Born in the USA, which still has a very interesting lyrics. But he also has the, these albums which he, do, which he did without the E Street Band like uh, Tunnel of Love, Nebraska, Ghost of Tom Joe, Devils, Devils and Dust, uh, Western Stars, which I think contain more reflexive, more, more, more quiet work and also uh, with, with, inter with lyrics which are, in, in, my, in my view, usually more interesting. But I think one of his greatest hits is Dancing in the Dark, still a great song. Uh, Born to Run, also a great song, so don't get me wrong, I also appreciate his greatest hits. But I'm personally, I'm, I'm more fond of his uh, more reflexive work. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, if you look at his work, and so he started in the, in, the, in, the, in the early 1970s, his first album came out 50 years ago, 1973. And his first songs were very much, uh, you know, uh, a young, male adolescent uh, looking for love within an American context, within American cities. And um, so he was very much, uh, much inspired by, uh, by his, his own love life or the lack of his own love life, whatever you want to call it. And uh, later on he got more inspired by uh, the, the setting in which he grew up in, you know, as a, as a kid of a working class family. He looked at the struggle both of his father and of his sister, you know, to find their way within American society. Whereas in the later phase, uh, when, when he was recording Ghost of Tom Jode, he was also interested in a much more a uh, diverse cast of, of outcasts, refugees, uh, bank robbers, uh, Vietnamese uh, refugees, uh, a very different kind of setting. People from Mexico who moved, drugs dealers who moved from Mexico to, to, to the southern part of the United States. And very much in, 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 in the vein of, of, of American, of, of American novelists, uh, like uh, um, like John Steinbeck, he tried to 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 position these characters against the backdrop of of, of larger American society, which I think he did in a very beautiful way. It's interesting that he. Um, if you look at, for instance, at, at, at other songwriters who had a, a, the, same sen the same span of long longevity, like McCartney, uh, Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen, maybe also Joni Mitchell, um, those people, then he is maybe one of the least covered. I think also because of the, 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 um, the lyrics of his songs, which are usually uh, quite, uh, quite complex. And uh, Bob Dylan has always been a songwriter for others, but Bruce Springsteen has not, not, not that much covered. Although when, he, uh, when, he, when his career was launched, he was first covered by, by the Hollies, uh, the, 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 the song uh, The Fourth of July. 
uh, Sandy, and then also by the Manfred Man Earth Band. Yeah, now we're talking. The Pointer Sisters has, have, have covered him. But he's not, not, and there's also an album in which uh, uh, women, I think the, 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 the title is uh, Women Sing the Boss. And it's uh, female singers who, who cover songs by Bruce Springsteen, which is quite interesting because he's, he's always, he's, he's also, um, he has also been criticized because of the, uh, whereas he, he's very able to, to depict uh, male characters in, 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 in a very rich vein. You could also say that his, his, his female characters are usually quite stereotypical. But then again, uh, the, 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 female, the, the women that, 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 that have covered his songs were not, not that much bothered by, by that and uh, were also able to, 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 to lend depth to his songs. But he's, not, he's, not a, he's, he's very much a singer-songwriter for his own songs and not so much for others. <laughs> Uh, I, I have to say that, that, his, that I, I read his autobiography, which, which is indeed a good book. It's also a very solo book. It also shows the link between his larger story of life and his songs. And he's, he's very well adept in, in formulating um, narratives of, of people. And, uh, so, but his private life, I'm, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm not that interested in that. I know that his daughter I think she won a bronze or a silver uh, medal at the, Olymp at the Olympics uh, with, 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 uh, with horse riding. I'm not sure what, what it's called in English. And uh, I think she trained sometime in somewhere in the, in the southern part of the, of the Netherlands. So I'm not, I don't think he has a house in the Netherlands. I do know he has a house in, in New Jersey, so back to his roots. And I think he also still has a house somewhere in, in, in Los Angeles, in California. But that's about it. But, uh, that's, that's, as I mentioned, I'm, that's not very much uh, the, the, the core of my interest. The core of my interest is his songs, his lyrics, and also the way he has been able to, uh, to, lend, uh, to lend a voice to people who have been hard hit by a process of de deindustrialization in the United States. <laughs>